This past week we were working with our blogs and I ask you to comment on my blog. And this was pretty successful for several of the students, but today I would like to show everyone how you can comment on another person's blog. So the first thing you obviously have to do is you have to be on uh, your blog and you have to be logged in. So whenever you go to my website and you go to communication and you go to your hour and you click on your name, it takes you to your blog. But you all know the first thing that you need to do is log in. So you're going to go up to the corner. And you're going to log into your blog. Now once you're logged in, you're able to leave comments on other blogs. And so in order to do this, you actually have to be on that person's blog where it's showing what they typed. So if you bring up uh, Mr. Washam's blog, which looks like this, you would have read about homeostasis and organ transplant and you would have answered a bunch of questions in your own blog and then right down here on number 13 I told you in the future we would be commenting on other blog posts so as a test please comment on this blog post and I will give you bonus for doing so so since I told you to comment on this blog post you got to look and see where it says comments and right here on Mr. Washam's blog it says currently there are 58 comments and that's where you would need to click to make your own comment so if you would have clicked on this remember you have to be logged in to comment it will load the comment page it's just like using Facebook if you're gonna comment on somebody's wall on Facebook it's pretty much the exact same thing and so you can see all these comments that have been posted by other students in class and anytime you see the picture of the St. Louis Ram that says D. Washam, that's me and I've responded to comments. Here's a comment from Ashton. She said a lot of the information I found was interesting and helpful because of later life issues that may come up. I like today's assignment quite a bit. And so I replied to that and told her thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the material. And you can go through and see what everybody commented. Some people had some uh, constructive criticism for me, and I appreciate that. If you guys ever uh, do not like a lesson, just don't post, uh, I didn't like the lesson, or it was boring. Um, please give me you know, maybe a little more feedback than that. Could let me know why you didn't like it, or what maybe um, I could have done to improve the lesson. But if you like it, please feel free to say so. So we got to scroll through all these comments that everybody has left and right down here uh, you are able to type a comment. So you can just type in um, whatever you thought about the assignment or if you want to ask me a question or anything. So once you type in the comment you go right down here and you click on post. Whenever you do this blogger or edu blogs excuse me will send me an email to my school account and it will say somebody has commented on your blog and then I know that you have left me a comment so whenever you guys go to your blog you click on post over here to make post well there's another link you can click on that says comments and so you're underneath your dashboard if you click on comments it will show all the comments people have left on your blogs. Whenever you guys complete your assignment the other day, I went in and gave you a grade and I left you a comment. In order for you to be able to check that comment, you have to go into your comments section and you have to either approve or trash the comment that I left you. Hopefully you approve it so it can be seen and then you can see the grade that I left you and the comment. So I've left some of these up from the other day. These are all people that have recently left comments on my blog that I have not um, yet approved. And that way I can kind of show you guys what it's like. So
So I left a comment for a lot of people that said, you know, you can finish your blog at any time. When you do so, go to my website, comment, tell me you completed it, and then I'll go check it. So here's an example. Here's Byron. Okay, Byron Merlin Bach in my eighth hour class. He finished his blog on Friday uh, during my seventh hour class, and he typed a message on my comment board. He says, I have finished. All right, so now I know that Byron has finished his blog and I can hit approve and now Byron's comment will show up on my blog and I can also leave Byron a reply and so thank you Byron oops B-Y-R-O-N I will check this on Monday alright because obviously this is the weekend and I'm checking it if I was at school I'd go ahead and tell him I'd go check his blog see what his grade is uh, leave a grade and leave a comment for him and you can just hit the reply button right here and so I have left a comment for Byron and I had to go through and uh, these are all people that have left comments and and finish it up we got Hannah um, um, Tara some people's names don't show up as their actual name uh, here's Ezra Dalton uh, and Sierra's made a couple comments. So all these people, uh, Jamie and Kiana, they've all been working on their blogs and they've went in and left me a comment. So now you guys know how to comment on somebody's blog and you can do the exact same thing on someone else's blog. So just very quickly, let's use um, Sierra as an example. What you got to do is if you're on my website, you can go to Sierra's in my sixth hour class so you can go to Sierra's blog, your blog. And remember, you got to be logged in. And what you can do is you can leave a comment on somebody else's blog, which is what we're going to do in the future. You'll be commenting on your own classmates, not people from different class, but people from our own class. I'll ask you to comment on their post. So here is her post about homeostasis. And if you want to leave uh, Sierra a comment, you can go to the comments section. And just like on my post, you can see uh, I left her a post the other day, told her she could finish at any time, and she could leave me a comment saying that she completed it, which she did, because you guys saw that back on my comment section. So I could go in here and type Sierra a comment. So you guys will be doing that in the future. One more thing I want to show you, kind of cool about your blogs. If you guys haven't done this yet, uh, on your dashboard, all right, where you could choose post or comments or appearance. Right over here, there should be a button that says activate easy mode. If you would like to um, change up your blog a little bit, you can click this button. And it's kind of a like a newer, uh, more sleek design. It's the exact same thing, but it'll change your your page to kind of look like this. And some, some of your blogs look like this and some of them don't, but if that's something you want to do. And if you find out you don't like it, you can hit um, exit easy mode and it goes back to how we've been viewing it since, I guess, September, October. But if you like that easy mode, you can just click activate easy mode and you got all the same things over here. New post, my post, uh, comments, everything's still there. It just kind of changes up how it looks. All right, so if you haven't finished your blog, please do so. Uh, make sure you leave a comment for me. I'll know to check it. And in the future, we'll be commenting on each other's blogs. Hope you guys uh, have a really good week.